Okay, okay, we are back with some more Bjork. Next up, it's Bachelorette, produced by Bjork. Um, decides to return to the city. It's like the sequel to her story. So wait, is there a whole... This is on Homogenic as well. Is there like a whole story behind this album? Because... I'm going to be a little bit lost um, since we're doing just random tracks. But anyways, we've got a music video. Let's check it out. One day, I found a big book buried deep in the ground. I opened it, but all the pages were blank. Then, to my surprise, it started writing itself. One it's like that one anime. I found a big book buried deep. Interesting. It's kind of quiet. I hope it gets loud. I can turn it up more if we need it. Went to a publisher now. But the book writes itself as it goes on. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, once in the office, I handed him my book. He offered me a, a cat in a comfortable chair. A cat? Offered me a cat? Across his desk and I watched him read my story. I could see how the words moved him and how he responded to the events as if he was going through them himself. As his eyes glided down the last page, the final sentence and conclusion to my tale appeared. I knew my heart was his and that I would love him forever and ever. Oh my god. Oh, he's smiling. <laughs> wow. So she fell in love with the publisher. Guys, the production's insane. The fact that Bjork's the only person on production credits. I didn't know she... Was the last song that we checked out, Joga, was that also only Bjork on production? I think it was. Dude, she can cook and sing and the concepts... so cinematic dude the production is so cinematic and i guess it makes sense as well with the uh the music video because they're doing something that's supposed to be cinematic the sound selection is so well done i love the style of it that mustache The strings are stringing. Hmm. 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 Oh. 
It's reenacting the thing. I mean, it's a play. The story's rewriting. Guys, guys, this is I'm a little bit confused with what's going on. The the publisher turned into branches, but she's supposed to be the branch. I'm a tree that grows hearts, one for each that you take. You're the intruder's hand. I'm the branch that you break. Damn. Damn. I, I can't really decipher these lyrics, but the sound is so nice. The sound is very nice. Also, I feel like the drums and stuff are also like Joga's, where it's like a little bit unorthodox and it's like I don't know how to explain those drums, but it feels like Joga's drums as well. I like it. Interesting. Huh. Mother Nature's taken over again. And the book's gonna get buried again. An accordion. That's so interesting. I throw in an accordion at the end there. That's really interesting. I'm so confused with what's going on though. I want to read the um the thing on genius here. I don't think you guys can see it that well, but I'm just gonna read it out loud. This is what Bjork said. So on Bachelor on Bachelor, Izo Bell decides to return to the city. It's like the sequel to her story. She goes back to the city by train, which is why the beats of the song sound like a train. Did I say that about uh, Joga? Did I say that about Joga? That the drums are kind of like a a chugging or something like that, like the da 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 da. But it's also like low key and and the kind of gritty. I, I feel like I, I said something like compared it to a train. I don't know. And she prepares to confront all the people that she loves with love. It's a disarming confrontation. Interesting. So when people get the love that she's returning, they turn into branches. They, I don't know. I'm a little bit confused because someone's probably got a good comment in here about it. Imagine being this iconic. I remember growing up in the 90s. She was brave enough to be herself, be creative, and evolve her music. Because she was being different, the media chart music shows would completely rid ridicule her a lot. When you listen to Bjork's song, you honestly couldn't tell if it was released in the 90s or right now. That's how far ahead she was with her music. Uh, she put her critics to shame. That's what I was saying. Like with the, the, the Joga one, that was like from the 90s. And it was just definitely ahead of its time. I wish she would narrate audiobooks. I could listen to her all day. The video is actually extremely dark on an apocalyptic level. When the publisher falls out of love, all books are unwritten and all people and buildings get devoured by the bushes and the trees. The city turns into a forest with the empty book buried deep inside the ground until she finds it again while digging and everything repeats itself in an infinite loop. So the book is kind of tied with love as well. Huh. After 22 years, we can watch Bachelorette at 1080p resolution. W. Uh, 22 years, oh my lord, 2002. One of the best pieces of music ever. The whole homogenic album still sounds futuristic and cutting edge today. One day, okay, that's just repeating what it said. I always thought she would have done a James Bond song. Hmm, I didn't even think of that. I feel like it has some James Bond vibes with this vocally, vocally, production wise, a little bit with the strings. If sometime I see a Bjork concert, uh, I could die in peace. Great artist and terrific woman. They, they spelt artist wrong. 
an upload from Bjork will force you to have a smile for the rest of your day. Uh, I remember the strange strangeness of watching this video after midnight or maybe two o'clock in the morning in MTV Brazil, 1998. It was so different from everything that I've ever seen. For me, Bachelorette video illustrates very well Walter Benjamin's concept of the narrator and experience in crisis. Walter Benjamin. Is that a character within the homogenic album? I want to I look for some explanations. Or like at least some perspectives. Uh, I don't I don't see any more. Oh, no! This is just someone's uh, experience with Bjork. Huh? Interesting. I like it. I think it's a cool song. I'm not entirely sure on the concept, but I think it's a beautiful song. Production wise, the vocals very nice. The music video is really interesting as well. But if I'm gonna be picking songs from what i've heard dude i think joga is still number one i think joga is still top tier that shit is awesome this one's cool too though so keep really man keep what will i rate this track i'm gonna go like in eight i'll go like right down the middle eight five it's a cool song um it's nice the music video is there and again like the vocals they're so ethereal they feel pretty magical so eight five for me